Hello and welcome to your collective reading. This is going to be all about your current person's current feelings towards you. The energies can be vice versa, so keep that in mind. The cards we have to start with, messages from this person's, you know, from your person. You are perfect in my eyes, don't ever change. We have, I hope you allow me to step up and turn this around. So here we have someone who is definitely feeling some type of regret. Let's see what else comes out for you. Okay, crossroads. And mystery. This gives me the vibe of this person kind of checking in on you. Most likely via social media to see what you're up to. I'm really getting that sneaky vibe. Like they're trying to make a decision and they're trying to, to see where you're at to be able to like make that decision easier. So we have signs and synchronicities and we have between the lines. I honestly feel like there's something hidden from you. Like I feel like this person is sneakily watching you without letting you know how they feel, without letting you know that they're watching, basically not wanting to be obviously a creep or look like a creep, I guess. But I'm really getting this message of somebody checking in. Let's take a look at their energy. What is this person's current energy? when it comes to this connection. Okay. Wow. There's something this person is refusing to see. Like some of you may be rejecting their offer because you feel like they're not seeing what they've done wrong. So if they have made an offer already, some of you may have rejected it and it's like this person still fails to see where they went wrong or what they need to do to work this out. This could be near future energy, like you may end up rejecting their offer and they seem to fail to see what is really needed here, what needs to be done for this to work. I'm seeing that... Some of you may be currently texting someone else or exploring options. I'm also getting this vibe of you just being out there or going out and having fun and enjoying yourself and really trying to keep your energy positive. This person, however, they kind of struggle with, oh my gosh, what do I do? Especially if they're seeing you live in your life. They just seem to want to come back in without having to acknowledge all the things that they've done. I am seeing that they are very, very much hopeful for a new beginning. I honestly have to say that their feelings are genuine, but it seems that they just don't really know exactly what they need to do. They want this new beginning, especially if you're having fun, they're seeing you having fun and they're wanting to know how they can get in on that, how they can be a part of your life again. It looks exciting. It looks inviting is what I'm hearing. Um, the feelings are genuine, but this person, they just don't really get it, I guess. I'm seeing that they're going to still be waiting. They could actually make a change here. They do have death card. They could be a Scorpio as well for some of you. Or a Pisces or Leo with the sun and the king of cups. But I am getting that they're going to be doing a lot of waiting. I feel like they're going to be waiting around. They're going to keep watching and they're still trying to make a decision, especially if they try to reach out to you and fail or try to get you back or make peace with you and fail because they, maybe it's an apology that you want and they fail to give you that, that apology. And so you just kind of shrug them off and they're left thinking, okay, what do I do now? But they, they still, they still need to go back to the drawing board and figure out what to do here. It's just kind of going over their head. The near future energy, they still, wow. They're still going to be waiting. They are still going to be waiting and watching. 
They feel like you're in their grasp. That's what I'm hearing. They feel that you're in their grasp still, like, like, like they can still have that effect on you somehow, but they feel like, okay, I just haven't figured out how. And with this lover's energy and the devil, this is Gemini and Capricorn. You could be dealing with any of these signs, or you could be any of these signs, but this person, this is like, mm, this is where it gets deep because it seems that there's like a like an obsession developing. I don't feel like it's gonna be like instant, but I feel like it's over time. Like they they start to look at you and it becomes an obsession. Like they look at you today, they look at your profile tomorrow, and because you have this consistent like there's something either you're like really posting a lot or. There's a lot going on on your social media or maybe they're able to see you in person, seeing you interact with people. There's something that has them obsess obsessively looking at you, but it's not like instantly, it's like over time, like they just develop this habit of watching and trying to figure you out in, in, in the midst of trying to figure out what to do, they become kind of obsessed. It kind of, it kind of becomes, I'm hearing daily, like it becomes a daily, you know, thing to do is to just check what's going on with you, check in with you. But again, mysteriously, without you being aware of it, without them looking like a creep, I guess. But there's something that you need to know. There's some kind of way for you to figure out what I'm telling you right now for yourself, like to see it. And I'm getting that it could be through, for some of you, it could be through meditation or just reading between the lines. Um, there's some way for you to find out if they're really watching. But look at that, 10 of 10, oh my gosh. Nine of pentacles. This is exactly what I'm saying. They're seeing you in all this abundance. They're watching you. They're seeing you, you know, moving forward, not thinking about. I feel like it's mostly because it seems like you're not thinking about them or you may be thinking about them, but they see you as not even given a, you know, about them doing your own thing. And they start to feel like, why, why are you not thinking about me? Like, hello. <laughs> so... I feel like that's what causes them to become more obsessive. The more they see that you are not wanting them, the more they, they obsess over this. And it could be because some of you in the past, you may have been very much into them and very much in love with them. And they were expecting that to last forever, even while they behave badly or distant. So let's see what's going on here with their feelings. How is this person feeling currently about this connection? How are they feeling about the viewers? Hmm. There you go. You know when I just thought to myself, there you go? The song, There You Go by Pink, <laughs> just played in my head. And it's exactly what we're talking about here. There you go, looking pitiful because I let you go. So we have Pisces energy. We have Aquarius. Some Sagittarius energy, Pisces. Okay, so here we go. The feelings towards you, the Page of Cups. This is someone who has an apology. This is someone who is starting to fall in love. And I feel like for some of you, if you have been separated, you know, not speaking, they may have gotten over the situation and felt like they had it all figured out and that they were going to move on and everything was going to be great. And now they seem to be falling for you all over again. It's almost like the lack of their ego being stroked makes them obsess. They are seeing you as the eight of pentacles. You are quite busy, you are quite focused, and they see this. They see that you're building something. They're starting to see the value in this relationship. 
Why did they not see it before? That's the question. They're starting to see, I mean, the Queen of Pentacles is how they're seeing the relationship. They're starting to see how nurturing you were, what they really had, how valuable the relationship was. And I feel like it's, it's something they didn't see before, like they took for granted. They do have the tower. They do have a fear. I feel like this person has a fear that they may go to your profile or somehow um, come to realize that you've moved on. I feel like they, it's like every time they go and, and, and look you up, there is a fear that, oh my gosh, there might be a new post of you and your new love. They're fearful of that shocking moment that they lost you for good. And they're hopeful to keep things moving with you. They may make some advances very soon. They may be physical advances. They may, it may be them trying to just get back to the playfulness with you, but they're, they're definitely wanting to rush in. And I feel like that has to do with them not wanting to own up to what they've done in the past. You know, just really trying to avoid apologizing, trying to avoid all of that. Be careful with this person's next move because we have the Seven of Cups. They may come forward and try to present the illusion, okay, of love. I also get that this person has been thinking about you a lot. There may be a lot of daydreaming and fantasizing, especially when I'm seeing that devil and the lover's card again in my head. There may have, they may be like a lot of fantasies about you in bed, like them <laughs> in bed with you. Like they may have been thinking about that a lot. And the thing is, they just don't know what's going on with you. They have this moon energy here. So this does connect with the mystery card and they are trying to be very mysterious. They are being very sneaky. Sneaky in a way where it's about sneaking and watching you to be honest what's blocking is this king of wands some of you could be this king of wands because i really feel from your energy is that you are really focused on you they're seeing that too and i'm feeling it like you are going towards your confidence rebuilding yourself moving forward looking you know like a force to be reckoned with and they keep checking in to see when it's when is it going to be safe for me to make my move basically why the f why am i saying why we have the the five of cups i actually need to clarify it but this is in the position of what you need to know so i feel like a lot of you don't know that this person is actually crying over spilt milk i feel like they present this illusion that they're good that they're confident that they don't need you that is why they have to be so sneaky when it comes to, to looking you up because they don't want to get caught. They don't want you to know the truth that that <laughs> that they've been watching. They want to look like the cool person who doesn't really need anyone and can move on easily. If that was the case, the Five of Cups wouldn't be in the position of what you need to know because they are definitely feeling like they lost you. The hanged man is representing the fact that this person is seeing you very differently and it's because of all the work you've been putting into yourself. You got the star energy here coming up. So it's a lot to do with you, the new you, the improvements you've made and everything that you're doing for yourself is drawing this person in. Why the knight of wands? They're shocked by your behavior. I honestly feel like you don't usually do this. Like you would, you like they're used to you being for them, being lovey-dovey with them, you know, being open to them. And now it seems like you are distant, that you're just kind of doing your own thing, like really blowing up, really being just not what they expect. It's a tower moment for them when they realize they don't have you wrapped around their finger anymore. Why the tower? It's 
So we have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so they do fear that there's going to be people who come forward and try to be with you, flirt with you. They may be looking in your comments. But this Four of Wands, they are very like... I see that this person has been taking some time to think. They do think about the... I feel like this person, I'm getting the energy of them like asking what if. What if you were to move on? There's the what if. They're trying to figure out, is this worth it? They, I feel like they, they don't know how they got how they're going to feel if they do see you with someone new they don't really know how they're going to feel how it's going to affect them if it's going to affect them why the eight of pentacles you may be on a fast track to some type of success okay but they're seeing you as now being closed off from them they see that you're focused you're going somewhere very quickly in your own personal life but you're also closed off to them so they feel kind of shut out why the seven of cups careful that this is about your success okay they may be infatuated with the things that you're accomplishing the places that you're going or, or your potential Careful not to be sold a dream by someone. Because I feel like they really are looking at everything that you have accomplished. All the praise that you're getting. All the, you know, the, the success. Everybody looking up to you. So be careful of the fakes. Why the page of cups? thing is this is like it could be a leo for some of you there is this offer there's i mean we got the queen of pentacles again we got strength we got the hierophant honestly with this person i cannot figure them out there's a genuine desire to um commit to give you an offer i'm sorry there's a child running up and down upstairs <laughs> there's a desire to do that but there's also like the thing the thing that's drawing them in maybe it's two different stories for for two different groups or maybe this person doesn't know how the heck to feel or what to go for but they seem very enticed by what's going on with you the good things that are coming into your life but there's also a genuine feeling of the fact that they lost you and the fact that they are missing you here. So I don't know whether to tell you to trust this person or not. They may be focused on the material things about you. And but there's there's still that connection. Because there's still the feeling, the emotional feeling of loss. So it's not like this person is pretending completely or else they wouldn't really be sad. But I do feel like there, there's something to do with the material aspect of this that pulls this person in closer. Why the Five of Cups? There's an inability to get over this. They are in conflict with themselves and in their mind. They are trying to move on and not think about you, but they keep, like I said, they're going to start thinking about it and looking and peeking until it becomes an obsession because they're trying to decide. They're at a crossroads based on how they feel about you, trying to decide what move to make. Should there be a move to make? You know, so this is them like watching. And trying to make a decision based off of what they see you doing. Why the star? Yeah. 
it's very and again <laughs> again we have the two of the two of swords this person's really watching to see what's next what you're doing what decision to make they start to feel like they're on the outside looking in and you're really starting to look powerful to them king of wands so you are in this star energy the more you grow the more left behind they feel let's see what we got here okay whoa cards are falling in my lap instead of on the table let's see let's get one more okay so we have seduction and i honestly feel like you are seducing them but you're not into it you're not intentionally seducing this person you're not doing it on purpose they just can't take their eyes off of you we have vacation me please how still i got a groove back so this is that energy of you feeling like okay the relationship is over or this person's just not around and then you get your groove back and they're seeing this all happen and it's like now what we have clown ass but i ain't mad at you this may be how you're viewing them seeing them as this clown who does not want to say how they feel but is sitting there watching <laughs> um we have arguments shit starter bust the windows out your car vibes potential domestic violence or so confrontational you guys may have had quite the or you could have been quite snappy or they may have been but if it's domestic violence obviously move on but if it's just you know the arguments this the usual stuff here because there may have been some game playing playing <laughs> there may have been some game playing some tempers rising here in the past so we have approved time to sign on the dotted line moving purchase of a home car or business location loan grant scholarship going back to school so something you're achieving something here there's something becoming approved for you and you're moving up and they're seeing this What's the message for this connection? Unclear and yes, but. So again, this may have to do with them not being able to decide. They need more information. That's why they keep watching you, but they're going to become obsessed. So they can continue. <laughs> we have solitude. Growth euphoria and unfinished business so they start to feel like there's unfinished business here but you're just in solitude doing you and growing feeling all them good feelings while this person just kind of watches the whole thing <laughs> what are the love messages for this connection past life relationship you've known each other before you deserve love you are lovable True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. And we have passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So I do feel like this was a passionate connection in the past. It may be that you guys were just very, very fiery, separated. Now you're just doing you. But is this person going to be your true love? I know that they're focused on the material things. I know that there's some type of feelings that they have here because there are cups here. There is cups energy. So there is emotion. This is not someone who's pretending. But they do seem quite materialistic at the same time. So it depends on how much you care for this person or what you're willing to put up with. I do see them maybe eventually figuring out that they need to apologize but they're going to become obsessive trying to make this decision trying to see what you're up to and when they can make a move all right so yep there's pisces energy capricorn capricorn came up earlier gemini came up earlier we have aquarius capricorn again so 
So yeah, those are the main signs. There's Leo as well. So yeah, this is what I'm seeing. I hope this was helpful. Like if you enjoyed. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.